Danny Lighten here with another game review. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this is a brand new game. It's not even out yet. It's called Pirate Code. And this is a multiplayer battle game with pirate ships. And it's actually kind of cool. I give this one a thumbs up. This is just the beta version, so I'm sure there's going to be some, probably some changes, maybe some improvements and stuff like that here and there. Alright, so we're going to go to a battle, and I'll show you what this game looks like. Right now, I only have one pirate ship. I can build more. You have to collect materials, and as you do battles and open the chest, you can get the materials to build different ships. So, it's, it's a team. I believe it's five players versus five players. Now I just click that little thing on the bottom right hand corner and that makes my ship go faster. So right now we've got to get into this circle and then once you get inside of there you have to def defend the circle from enemy ships. And you've got different kinds of weapons on your ship. Somebody just killed somebody. Alright, so I'm going to shoot some rockets or some torpedoes or some cannons <laughs> or something at that guy. Now this weapon, you can drag it to where you want it to go to get a hit. And I don't know if I got anybody or not. So I'm going to put my shield on because now I'm going to go right inside the battle circle. And that guy died. What is that red line? I don't know what that red line is, so I'm going to avoid that. Alright, I'm going to try and hit him with that. And I got him. Then I shot my cannons, but I died. Someone froze me, and then they killed me. I don't think I have the capability to freeze people yet. Alright, so the idea is whoever, whichever team stays in the circle for the right amount of time takes the circle and that gives you a victory. So now i got to go all the way back through here. I'm just going to shoot these rockets off and hope I hit somebody. I'm going to try and avoid these rockets that are coming in. Alright, now i got my cannons. Now, it just said my cannons were locked. I'm not sure why that was, because they were ready, and then all of a sudden I tried to hit them and they were locked. I don't quite understand why that happens, but that happens a lot. So I need to come through here. Alright, shoot that guy with my cannons. I've just been froze again and killed. So it looks like when you get that freeze weapon, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty potent. So far, my team has never lost a battle yet, but I'm pretty sure we are losing this one. Okay, I'm going to shoot that and hope I hit the guy. He's pretty far away, so... And I didn't get him. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're losing this battle. Now, I've got a shield. I keep forgetting to use my shield. I'm going to use it right now. Got to get inside this circle. And try and hit this guy. Got him. Killed him. I've just been froze again. That freeze is nasty. That leaves me wide open to be destroyed by other players. Yep. I need to get that weapon. Whoever has that is probably dominating right now because that freeze weapon is pretty potent. Whoops, wrong button. I meant to use my speed up thingy and I used my rockets. See if I can get someone. Well, this one it says we're supposed to keep a ship from reaching its destination. 
So this isn't just capture the circle. This is a new mode I haven't played yet. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. But I just died again. This is the worst I've ever done so far. I'm not sure how you stop the ship. Maybe as the maybe when the enemies are inside the circle that makes the ship move. So I, maybe I should not actually be going into the circle. Maybe I should just be trying to kill all these ships from far away. I'm not really sure. It says the objective is stopped and I see our ships are inside the circle. I don't know if any of the enemies are in there or not. Fire off some more rockets. Probably not going to hit anybody. I might get that one guy. Shoot those off that way. I think I might get somebody. I'm gonna fire the cannons at that guy. I'm getting getting beat up a little bit. I'm gonna put on my shield next time I see some incoming ammo. So right now is probably a good time to shield. Rockets, cannon, bam, hit them with both. And he sank. Now I've been frozen again, so I'm probably about ready to die here. And somehow we won, alright? I'm not sure how we won, but we won. So Lupin3 was the MV MVP on our team. He did the best. I probably came in at a very low place because I don't think I did too well right there. I must have skipped the little thing that showed me. So I'm ready to open a chest. So this is where you collect materials to build, build more ships. I just got 32 gold. I got some armor. I got a ram times 5. And that's what was in that chest. I'm going to try and unlock this one. And that's going to take 5 minutes. Now if, you, if I go to where it says dock. Alright, this is where I can get more ships. So I need... If you see where it says build, I've, I have one out of two purple armors, I've got zero out of two cannons, I've got zero out of two rams, so I need purple, purple rarer items to build this ship. For this ship, it looks like I have everything except for the three blue rams that I need to build this ship. I've got two, I need one more blue ram and I can build this ship. Alright, now let's look at captains. If I go to the tavern... You'll see the different captains. Right now it looks like I have two captains, but this one has the freeze. I'm not sure how I switch captains, though. My current captain is this guy. And I can't figure out how to switch him. But it shows how he freezes stuff. And I have him at level 1, but how do I use him? Alright. The game had a very small tutorial, and it didn't really make much sense. Well, it's not that it didn't make much sense. It didn't really show a whole lot of stuff. Maybe if I tap him repeatedly. Or if I tap him and hold it down. But I don't know about you, but I don't see anything that says go ahead and switch this captain. Alright, I need seven jigsaw pieces, it looks like, to upgrade them. I've only got three. This guy I need 10 and I've got 4, so I cannot upgrade either of these, but no matter what I do, I can't figure out how to use this guy. He has the freeze effect. Maybe I need to upgrade him to level 2 before I can use him, I'm not sure. But as you'll see right here, it shows my little Blackbeard captain still. Let me go to fleet. Let's see if I go into fleet. Alright, that's like a little guild or whatever. Um, world rankings... I don't see anything that's going to let me switch that. Debut pack, that's something I have to buy. I can collect some free diamonds, which is cool. I can buy some of these materials that I might need. For 400 coins, I can buy that material I need to buy that other ship. So you know what, I'm going to go ahead and buy that. 
and I'm going to build this other ship. Alright, so I'm going to build this. It's going to cost me 100 coins. Success successful! Yay, I build them. Now it looks like I've even got some stuff to where I can upgrade them. Alright, so I just upgraded a couple things. Now hopefully I'll get to try this new ship out. Like again, I don't know how you switch ships either. It looks like I'm still... Oh yeah, I do know how to sh sw uh, switch ships actually. When I go to battle, it lets me choose which ship I would like. Okay, now I can select my captain. Alright, so I'm going to pick that guy. So that's how you switch captains. On this screen here, you can click on the little captain where it shows your ship, and that's how you switch. Alright, so we're going to try and use this brand new ship. Now I got the freeze effect, so I can freeze other players now because I switched captains. Alright, now it makes sense. This is a pretty interesting looking ship. So we got to get to the circle over here. And then defend against the enemies which are coming in. I'm going to shoot this guy with that. Now we just killed that guy real fast. I'm going to put on my shield. Because they're shooting at me. At least I think that was my shield. Or was that my freeze, gu freeze gun? That might have been my freeze gun. Alright, I'm going to shoot that guy. I just froze him somehow. Pull my targets over to that ship and I'm going to blast him with my cannons and I got him. That guy killed me when we rammed each other. Sometimes you can kill the enemy when you ram into him, but he got the best of me on that one. Alright, so I'm going back in here. I'm going to move my target over to... It's on that guy. And that someone just got me pretty hard right there. So I'm going to shoot him with my cannons. I'm going to speed up to get back over to the circle. We got incoming. Oh man, I got hit every which way on that one. Alright. Somehow I'm getting more health. Maybe that's a perk of this ship. I'm going to try and freeze that guy. I got him. He's frozen. Unfortunately, nobody shot him, though. So this ship doesn't have a shield. It has a freeze, way. It's a freeze ray, a bow and arrow, and it's got the normal, the normal cannons. So we just blew that guy up. Oh, I'm frozen. Let me try and freeze one of these ships. It doesn't look like you can drag the freeze, which is cool. It automatically locks on, so that's a plus. The ones that you have to drag to shoot to make sure you hit the ship, those are a lot harder to use. And I got some people there. I don't know what this bow and arrow is doing exactly, but it looks like it shoots over and over and over. So that seems like a pretty good weapon. So this ship definitely seems better than the other one. I don't know if it's harder to kill or if it dies easier, but it's got what I would call better weapons. So I just froze that guy. Hopefully somebody can kill him. No, they didn't. So I can shoot several of these arrows at somebody. And we won that one. Now I think that was the capture of the circle. So whoever, whichever team stays in the circle the longest gets, gets to win. And I came in at uh, fourth place. I probably just unlocked another chest because it seems like the chests only take five minutes each to unlock. And usually when I go through a battle, one's ready when I come out.
All right, so let me open that chest. I just got a purple cannon, a blue armor, some blue stuff. So I might actually have got enough to upgrade the ship. Yep, I'm able to do one more upgrade on this ship. All right. Now I have... This ship looks like I have several upgrades available, but I think I'm going to... I'm not going to waste my coins on that because I'm going to stick with upgrading this ship for a while. Alright, let's go back in. Uh, I'm going to go to... There's something where you can do quests, alright? So I've re completed one quest and I just received that. And I got 400 coins. I need to win one more battle with a two-star speed ship. And I need to win three battles with Blackbeard, which is the other captain. Alright, so those are the goals I can complete to get a little extra money today. Now there's something here if you go to World. Alright, I, I can receive some stuff here. And I guess you can go to different locations. Right now they're all locked, so I must need to get to a higher level before I can move locations. But it looks like there's several different little locations you can go to. And I'm on Captain's Island currently. So once I hit level 6, it looks like I unlock the next one. Alright, let's go back and do one more battle, and then I'll end this video. I'm going to use that ship again. And as long as I my team wins this battle, I'll, I'll collect another one of those uh, rewards for the tasks. But yeah, overall I think this is a pretty cool game. The controls work really well. They're easy to use. Now I gotta figure out where, there's the enemies, they're over there, alright, so I'm gonna bombard this dude, I'm gonna freeze him. I think I need to get closer to those ships before I can use my, my uh, crossbow. I'm gonna bombard that guy with my cannons, that guy missed, freeze and crossbow. Killed him. Alright. Crossbow that guy and he's dead. This crossbow is a pretty deadly weapon. Man, I like that. So that's definitely a plus to having this ship. So we just need to stay in the circle and not let the enemies get into the circle. If we can stay in here, we can probably win this battle. See if I can freeze that guy. I probably should have waited till my cannons and my crossbow were ready to fire before I froze somebody. I've just been frozen. So now... And I'm dead. I need to get back to that circle. Hopefully one of my teammates will kill the guy that got inside of the circle. someone over there. I must be too far away to use the cannons. I don't know. I just got hit with them. I don't know. It says this ship has more speed, but it actually seems slower to me. I do like this ship better than the last one, though. All right. I'm going to bomb them with my cannons. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to freeze this guy. Now I'm going to blast him with my bow and arrow over and over and over. So the enemy had control for a few minutes. We've taken control back of the circle. 
Where is the enemy? They're all back here. Okay, I'm going to bomb these guys with my cannons. I'm going to turn around. Alright, I'm going to freeze him. Now I'm going to bow and arrow him to death. And I got him. It's bow and arrow. I can just keep shooting and shooting. That's a great weapon. That's so much better than the weapon the other ship has. So I played this game for maybe a half an hour yesterday or so. Now I'm playing it for the first time today. So it didn't really take me that long to be able to upgrade to this better ship. Now unfortunately I just died and the enemy, it looks like they're taking over our circle. But we've got 84% they've only got 46% as far as time spent in the circle I guess. So we're doing good. We're definitely on the winning side at the moment. Let's bomb this guy while well, I can. I'm getting hit by something. And they're all inside there, unfortunately. I'm going to freeze that dude. Now I'm just going to blast him with my bow and arrows. And he's dead, and I'm dead. So hopefully our teammates can get in there and take them out real quick. Oh, they're at 80%. They're, they just jumped up. Oh, they're winning currently. That's not good for us. So this might actually be the first battle that I have lost. Try and freeze somebody. Oh, we just lost. Alright. So that's pretty much how this game works. And it's just a player versus player battle. Looks like it's five ships versus five ships. There's a couple, couple of different battle modes it looks like. But for the most part, it seems like whoever controls the circle for the longest time wins. Alright, hope this video helps. I forgot to unlock another chest before I started that battle. So yeah, this seems like a cool game. I don't have any upgrades available for this ship. I mean, it doesn't cost much to upgrade these, so you know what? I might as well do it. This ship might even get better and better as I upgrade it. It looks like I've got a lot of upgrades for this ship. This one has three stars in speed, and this one has two stars in speed. This one only has one star in speed. But that looks like a really cool ship. I mean, I'd have to really try it to know. And as you level up more, there's going to be even more ships you can build. Looks like there's a whole bunch of them. But yeah, this is a cool game. This is brand new. Like I said, it's a beta version that's not even out yet. And, uh... So far, I like it. I think they're doing a good job with this game. And Alright, please subscribe to my channel, and you all have a good day.